Welcome to the lesson expressing decimal fractions as mixed numbers and in this lesson we're only going to be looking at hundreds. How do we express a decimal fraction as a mixed number? We need to remember in this lesson that two places after the decimal point is hundreds. Now let's go to our first example. What is 1.34 as a mixed number? Now with that decimal number, 1.34 is really telling us that we're looking at one whole and also another whole in which it was divided into 100 equal parts, just like the first where we have all parts being considered in that whole, but in the second whole, we have 100 parts and only 34 parts out of that whole is being considered. So therefore that's 34 out of that 100 parts being considered. So 1.34 or decimal fraction as a mixed number would be one and 34 hundreds. So one whole, or whole number one, point three four fractional part as a common fraction would be 34 hundreds. Two places after the point, we know it's hundreds. So again, 1.34 as a mixed number is 1 and 34 hundreds. Another example. What is 7.09 as a mixed number? So again, 7 before a point or whole. Here we have 0, 9, 2 places after the point. So we can safely say 0 0.79 as a mixed number is 7, 9 hundreds. 7 and 9 hundreds. Another example, what is 1.25 as a mixed number? So again, 1 in our whole and 0 0.25, 25 parts of the whole divided into 100 equal parts is being considered. So a fraction 25th hundreds, our mixed number 1 and 25th hundreds. 25 hundreds. What is 5.62 as a mixed number? 5.62 as a mixed number, 5 a whole, and 62 hundreds. What is 82.37 as a mixed number? 82.37 as a mixed number is? 82 and 37 hundreds. So again, in this lesson, how do we express a decimal fraction as a mixed number? Remember, we were looking at hundreds. We need to remember that two places after the decimal point is hundreds. 